Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today started off good, as you will see when I show my scale um, weigh in. If it turned out right, it may. I don't know if when I videoed it, it. I don't know if it videoed right. But anyway, <clears throat> you will see I am moving in the right direction. Um, I haven't had breakfast. I'm headed to Walmart right now because I need to get, I have two testing strips left. Um, I need to get dog food and some other stuff that I forgot to get the other day. So, I'm headed to Walmart and I will do my first meal when I get back. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the cauliflower rice hamburger stuff and do it for lunch and supper. That way, I don't have to have it. Like when I did the jalapeno popper chicken, I, I had to eat it like all week long. So I'm going to make it for lunch today, and I'll have it for lunch. And then, if I like it, uh, that's the big thing is if I'm gonna like it. I'm not making a whole lot. I'm only making enough for two meals. Um, so if I like it, I'll have it for supper. If not, I'll try to figure something else out for supper. So that's where I am right now. I um, am headed out for a little while, but I will be back shortly. Okay, my month, my daily, my weekly weigh-in. Two eggs today. I lost my damage. So that's where we start. Okay, so we're doing good this morning. 112 at 9.35 a.m. Awesome. Well, I got to where I felt like I was just gonna pass out, so I decided to stop and grab so I'm gonna eat. I got a six inch. I'm gonna eat a half of it and a half of the Chips. And this will be my lunch. So, not bad. And I'll eat the other half, like, for, maybe for supper. Hey guys, um, I am home from my Walmart trip and my Subway lunch run. And I got to thinking about something on the way home. Um, you know, my thing right now is portion control. And controlling how much you eat, measuring out, weighing out everything that you eat. Eat on a little salad plate so you don't feel like you have to fill that big plate up. Um, so, when I went to Subway, y'all saw what I did. I cut the, the six inch Subway in half. I only ate half of it. I only ate half of the bag of chips and the rest of it sitting in my microwave right now. Waiting for about three o'clock where I'm going to eat the rest of it. Um, you know, that goes true for any restaurant you go to because I got to thinking about it. if you look at the portion sizes that you get when you go to these these people are wanting you to be fat um, because you they give you all this food and you hate to not eat it because you don't want you're paying for it and you don't want it to see to see it go to waste so you eat it in one sitting but if you stop and think about how big your stomach is, your stomach's not very big, and it doesn't need a whole lot of food. So if you will eat to satisfy instead of engorging yourself in food because you like it or whatever, save some for later. I mean, if you if you portion it out, well, then you can have some for lunch. You can have some for, some for supper. You can have some for lunch and supper the next day if you portion it out right. <clears throat> That's why I keep saying my thing is, is I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure a half cup of potatoes, a half a cup of macaroni and cheese, a half a cup of anything that I'm eating is going to come in a half cup size. Um, and then I'm going to weigh out three ounces of meat. And that's going to be my, my and I'm going to eat on a, on, on a little salad plate. The thing is, is when you go to these fast food restaurants, you can eat there. You can eat anything you want to eat. 
as long as you do it in moderation. That is the thing. You don't have to go on a quote unquote diet and and then you're torturing yourself because you're depriving yourself of your favorite foods. You can eat anything you want to eat in moderation. Just don't overdo it. Measure out and know like when you get that plate a big lot of food that's got a lot of food on it and you're sitting there staring at it thinking holy cow this is a lot of food as soon as they bring you your plate immediately ask for a to-go box and 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 take half of it off your plate so you're not sitting there looking at it and then you get to enjoy your meal twice because you you're taking a, a, a to-go box home with you do it immediately so it's not there staring at you and you don't end up overdoing it and with the intention that you're going to take it off your plate you're going to take you're only going to eat half and then take the rest to go do it immediately as soon as they bring as soon as the waiter waitress brings you your plate you ask for a to-go box okay can i have a to-go box please and then like now and immediately take it off your plate because if it's not sitting there staring at you well then you're not going to be tempted to eat it so that's my plan. So I mean, and if you and if you don't, I mean, the thing is, is your stomach, like I said, your stomach is not very big. I'm perfectly fine. I feel, I mean, I'm perfectly fine from eating that little. I cut my, I had my subway cut in half, and I ate that three inch little subway and a half of that bag of chips, and I'm fine. Um. And I'll get to enjoy the other half and the rest of the bag of chips at about 3 o'clock. And then that'll do me, that'll be my quote-unquote snack for, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, that'll be my snack. And you can basically, my, what my plan is, is when I go to, I have to eat out and I go to McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King or Subway or whatever, um, not Subway, because Subway, I'm just going to get them to cut it in half. But for the other ones, I'm going to order kids meals, because kids meals are half the size of a regular meal. If you like Big Macs, ask them when you get the hamburger kids meal or the cheeseburger kids meal, and ask them to put Big Mac sauce on it instead of ketchup. They'll do it. I do it all the time. So there's ways that you can you can eat out. And, and stay on track and not overdo it because the more you have that sitting there looking at you, the more tempted you're going to be. And if you and if you do eat out, say you go to say you go to Burger King and you get a Whopper and fries and take a knife, cut the cut it in half, eat half of it and wrap up the rest of it eat half of the fries and wrap up the which i mean i know fries aren't really that good cold i mean later unless you but you can reheat them you can refry them and they're, and they're just as good because i've done that before and when i brought lunch when i brought dinner home and and, and it's been a while before my husband got home and i just refried his fries and they were just as good as if they were right at the restaurant so i mean there's things there's ways, and I'm trying it this way to see if this way will work. So, I mean, click that subscribe button and follow me and see, and if you're on the line and you want to go on a diet, but you just don't like diet food or you don't want to do diet food because you can't stand vegetables, this is the diet that I'm thinking. Because you cut your calories, you're going to lose weight. You cut, start eating half of what you're eating, you're going to lose weight. And that's my, that's my thing. It's like yesterday was a good day. I, I've got my calories set at 1,750 um, right now. Um, yesterday was just under 1,600 calories. And I had ice cream. And I got, I mean, that's, I've gone and got the little cups of ice cream. It's about moderation. I got the little cups of ice cream because of, um, I got the little cups of ice cream because of the fact that if I'm dipping it myself, guess what? I'm going to fill that bowl up. 
this way I have my little cup of ice cream and when it's gone it's gone I can't get another one because I have one for I have a cup for it per day that I get so just get that get that thinking in your head try it and see cut your meals in half measure out what you're what you're eating because like keto and low carb Yes, they work for some people. They don't work for me. Keto doesn't work for me. I don't know why, but it doesn't work for me. But the thing is, is I'm not going to lie, I like my carbs. I like my potatoes. I like my rice. I like my bread. I'm not really a bread, a hardcore bread eater, but I do like I do like my hamburger buns. I like my Subway, my Subway bowl, my Subway things. I like my... I like my bread, but I don't have to have it for every meal. Like, you know, some people think you got to have biscuits, cornbread, and any kind, anything you cook, you have to have bread to go along with it. Yeah, I'm not like that. Um, but this is what I'm going to try. And if you're, if you want to see how this works, and if this works, keep following me, and and we'll see. Because, like I said, this way, this this way, you get to eat whatever you want to eat. And you don't have to deprive yourself of any any foods that you love because you're eating them in moderation. You're eating them in portions. You're you're controlling how much you're eating of it. And this is gonna be this is this is gonna be test your willpower. I mean it. You know I've always heard when you're eating to take a bite, put your fork down and chew. Yeah. See, I'm a fast eater. That's why I think I'm overweight. It's because I'm such a fast eater. And I eat it and then, yeah, I just carf it down and don't even really have time to taste it. And so that's what I'm, 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 that's my, I'm working on that. Taking slow, taking it slow, eating slow, slowing down, putting my fork down, chewing, enjoying my meal. Because. I will eventually get there. I'll eventually find the thing, and I think this is going to be it because, like, I mean, the scale was down this morning, but and that was just from one day, and that was, I mean, down back to where I started before my binge day. I'm back to 206, so hopefully, I'm not waiting again until next Sunday. I'm, I'm actually going to give the scale to my daughter and tell her to hide it because I'm a slave to the scale. I, I get on the scale every morning if I... If it's there to see if I've lost anything and I, I can't do that I can't go by I can't let a scale determine how my day is going to be because say it doesn't move I get pissed off and I go oh no and I pull a Friday and I eat Bert I mean I eat which I mean <clears throat> honestly um A biscuit from McDonald's, I mean, a McDonald's sausage cheese biscuit isn't bad. I mean, you're not eating two sausage cheese biscuits, you're only eating one. So it's not bad, but yeah, I could have done that without the, the Chick-fil-A. Yeah. So, anyway, this is what's on my mind for right now. I'll be back later. I'm going to... Um, video, I'm going to make the, the hamburger cauliflower rice casserole in a little bit. Um, that's what I'm doing for supper tonight. I'm going to eat my, what I, I had initially said I was going to do my leftover Subway for supper tonight. But I'm not. I'm going to do that about 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to have the, um, the cauliflower rice and hamburger casserole for supper. And then for tonight. And I'll have it for tomorrow night too. So, but yeah. So, I'll be back. In a little bit with more. No, I'll be back in a little bit to show y'all how I make the the cauliflower hamburger, cauliflower rice hamburger casserole. Yeah. All right. See y'all in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and make the cauliflower rice hamburger cheesy casserole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make that now. Um. So. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat, lights went off, come on, 
to 375. Okay, now I'm going to get all the ingredients and stuff together and then I will be back and to show you how I put it okay. together. I have the ingredients here. Um, I've got 10 ounces of hamburger meat, a cup and a half of cheese, um, a cup goes in it and then a half a cup goes on top of it. I have a cup and a half of cauliflower rice. I have um, two and a half tablespoons of butter and I have roughly a little overflowing half cup of onion and four ounces of cream cheese. So I'm going to start with putting the butter and the onions in the skillet and let that start cooking. Okay, let's see. In goes the butter. I'm going to get that melting. And then I will add the onions once the butter has melted. I'll be back when the onions get done and we're ready to add the cauliflower. Okay, the onions are done, so <clears throat> I'm going to pour in a cup and a half of cauliflower and let it mix it in with the onions. Let it kind of cook a little. do is I'm going to get this out of this pot, I mean, out of this skillet, and I'm going to put my hamburger meat in and heat it back up because I cooked the hamburger meat the other night, and I'm going to heat it up and add in the cream cheese, and then once that gets all mixed up together, I will add the cauliflower, rice, and onions. I saw this video or how to make this on another YouTube channel and they say it's really, really, really good. I hope they're right because I don't know. Alright. So I'm going to get this off into 
the bowl that it started off in. I'm going to add the hamburger meat in here. And I will be back with the hamburger meat after I get the this mixture out of the skillet. So I can add hamburger meat. Well, you know what? That's pretty good. Probably be onions. I'm going to add a little salt. Oh, I should have used my pink salt. Um, some pepper. Some onion powder. garlic powder and stir this all up. Alright, now I'm going to add I, I use this in everything. Point Panola Gourmet Cooking Sauce it's like a hot sauce. I love it. I put it on everything. I got it about probably. Maybe I need to, That was about a tablespoon. Let me do one more little tablespoon. So two tablespoons of that. Gonna get a little kid. Spoon, spoon. This little wooden thing is not working too well anymore. Alrighty. I'm going to start off with about Two ounces of the cream cheese and see how that looks and not add the whole half a block. I don't know. 
don't want it to be too clean. Too clean. Cover it all up with my meat and let it get a little soft. So it gets a little soft. Okay, I'm going to cover it up. Yeah, I guess I need that other half. it for later. Okay. This would have been good with some mushrooms. Okay. So now that that is done, I'm going to add my cup of cheese. that in there and mix it all up this looks really good um so I'm gonna get this all mixed up and get my um bacon dish ready so I'll be back in just a second my bacon dish ready it's just a little small because this recipe I didn't really make a lot of it because I didn't know how I was going to like it. So I just made kind of like a little small, a little small batch of it. So I just have a little small bacon. I probably could even went with the smaller one. Then I'm going to put all of that in, stuff in and smoosh it down. There we go. And now I'm going to take and sprinkle the remaining half cup on top. Now, since it is basically done and it just needs to go in and just kind of like finish heating all the way through or whatever, um, you shouldn't have to put it in the oven for very long. So I'm going to check it in a for about 10 minutes to see, and it should be 10, 15 minutes. It should be good to go after that. So I will be back to show y'all what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. All right, here we go. This is it, and it looks, it smells really good. It looks really good. I'm letting it cool for a little bit. And I will be having this for supper. I did the, the, the kind of like the ingredients that what I put in. And total for the whole thing was 2,747 calories. So what I did was I went back and owned the ingredients. I deforced it. So whenever I go to do this, I'm going to cut it in half and then cut it in half. And those are going to be... There's going to be four portions out of this. So I will eat one for supper tonight, and I don't want to eat this for four nights in a row. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a late start one morning, one day, and 
I can eat one for lunch and then one for supper to get it out of the way. But this is, I'm going to let it cool off to where it'll be a little bit harder. Ugh, it looks really good. Um, so, but once I break it all down, it was 696 calories. I'll know more along the lines of the fat and all that kind of stuff. What made it so high was the cheese. It could probably possibly be lower calorie than that if you cut back on the amount of cheese that you put in it. Um, so, this is it. This is my dinner. It's done. I'm fixing to finish off my little um, Subway because it's almost three and it's time for me to get a snack. I'm a little getting a little woohoo-y. And so I'm going to get my snack and I'll have this waiting on me for when it gets time for supper. And I cannot wait. And let's see what it is tonight. And that's after eating supper. That is after ice cream. That is after Subways. That is after cookie, but the cookie was sugar free. That is the end of the day. 6.37 p.m. and it's 1.26. Good job, Anita. So, I was kind of worried that that stuff was going to be gross, but it was unbelievably good. I mean, that's, I have three servings left, and um, if anybody comes in and eats them tonight, well then, I mean, I don't have anything for tomorrow night, but I'm, I have some um, three ounces of hamburger meat that I was going to put like a two tablespoons of my sugar-free barbecue sauce with and heat it up and put it on a, and eat it like a, on a hamburger bun. That was my plan for that. Um, so, but yeah, it was really good. I mean, and I could have actually stood, I didn't put a whole lot of cauliflower in it because I didn't know if I was going to like it with a lot of cauliflower in it, but I could have probably put about another cup maybe in it. Um, so yeah, but it was really good, and that, you know, and, mm -hmm, yeah, so I don't know if my bunch is going to eat it because it's got onions in it, and, um, and if they just hear that it has cauliflower in it, they probably won't touch it with the 10-foot pole, so I will have my, um, I'll have, so, yeah, I don't know, but anyway, it was good, and, um, you should try, I mean, if you... You should try it because it doesn't even taste like it has, and it doesn't even taste like it has cauliflower in it because of the I don't know what it is about it, but um, but it's it's really good. So um, let me wrap this video up. Um, I was under my calories again today by like 68, I think. Um, I didn't look at my 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 stats my where I ended. The day today, I don't have all of those totals, but um, I didn't. I didn't go over. I do know that I did not go over on my calories because I got some sugar-free cookies that are like 100 calories a cookie, and I did eat one of those. And I was going to eat two, but it was going to put me over my calories, so I only ate one. Um, but anyway, I got some 100 calorie packed things. Well, they're like 100. Some are 100. Some are 110. But I got some of those to kind of like, and some pop, and some smart, smart food, a smart whatever popcorn that, um, I got some of that, um, to kind of like snack on during the day, which is what I'm going to like, instead of going and getting the, I mean, not, I'm not saying that I won't go get a kid's meal or I won't go out to eat, um, but my, my, thing right now is to not do that um so um yeah so anyway um this day has come to an end i'm about to hit the shower and this dog is eating me would you stop can you stop can you stop biting me well anyway Today was, like I said, today was a good day. Um, I, was, I, I said I wasn't going to get on the scale, but I'm curious to see if if anything happened today, if, 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 I, if it moved any, because I was actually eating. I mean, when I was doing, 
I wasn't really eating. And that may have been why keto didn't work. I don't know why keto didn't work for me, but I've actually been eating today. And so I, um, I kind of want to get on the scale in the morning to see if it's moved any. But anyway, but anyway, that will, um, this will wrap up this video. This is a Mickey. This is Miss Mickey. She's biting me. This is Mickey. Oh. Um. But anyway, I'm wrapping up this video, and so if you like this video, um, hit me with a thumbs up, and if you want to continue to follow my journey to see if this diet works, this this method of dieting works. I'm not even gonna call it dieting. I'm call it, I'm just calling it learning how to eat is basically what I'm calling it. Is learning how to eat without overdoing it because that's where a lot of people mess up is they just overeat and this way they um do eating this way is I mean it's sensible I mean be 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 smart when you're eating just like I could have went back in and got another uh, another serving of that casserole but at 600 and something calories <laughs> I can't do it. I couldn't do it, and I was, and I was satisfied. I wasn't hungry. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm fixing to get off here. I'm just gonna go take a shower, get ready for bed, get my clothes lined up for in the morning, and probably gonna call it an early night. So I will go to bed and not think about food and not think about see all of my little snacky food that I got to snack on while um, on the road, it's all out in the car. So I can't, I can't get to it. The cookie's out in the car. Everything's out in the car. I think I'm going to boil some eggs while I'm taking a, sh taking a shower so my eggs will be boiled for in the morning and, and all I got to do is grab and go. Um, so, yeah, because I'm not doing the Bulletproof coffee anymore because that's just got too much fat in it. And so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat my boiled eggs. For breakfast and yeah so anyway like I said if you like this video hit me with a thumbs up if you want to keep following this journey to see how this how this eating um this way of eating helps you lose if it helps you lose weight or if it's just a waste of my time and I'm gonna be in another month well in another month I'm gonna be saying yeah this isn't working either and try to find something else um, hit that subscribe button down below and and turn the bell on so you'll be notified whenever I do post a video. So, I'm going to close here and I will see y'all tomorrow with another video. Bye guys!